Hey guys, Eric here. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. Before we tune in to the details today, I have one little favor I'd like to ask you. Are you listening to this on Apple Podcasts or Spotify? If you are, and if you haven't done it already, it would be so helpful to Anita and I if you could leave a five-star review. It could just be putting five stars or even writing down something that you really enjoyed and learned from the episodes that you've heard so far. This kind of help would really improve our ability to give you better content and also to help other people find out about Taiwanica. So if you wouldn't mind taking just a few moments to do that, if you haven't already, we would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we really hope you enjoy today's episode. This is episode 58, talking about childhood memories, the classics between Taiwan and the USA. What's going on, everybody? Long time no here. This is Eric, one of the hosts here on Taiwanica Podcast. Welcome again to another wonderful episode. We are so glad to have you. Can't wait to share with you the great, crazy ideas that Anita has all organized for us today, who is just absolutely <laughs> wonderful and right next to me right now. Hey, Anita, how is it going? Owen. Let's try that sentence one more time. No, I'm good. Go uh, ahead. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Manita. How are you guys doing? I'm sure Miss you guys. they are doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, how are you doing, Anita? I'm okay. I'm just a little bit sleepy. A little bit sleepy, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh. I'm very excited about the episode. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean. have so many questions to ask you now. Yeah, I mean, I've heard a few of them before today, and I'm excited to hear whatever else you're going to be telling mm -hmm. us. But let me tell you all who's listening, you're gonna, you're in for a treat because some of the things that you're going to learn about Anita and Eric and also what happened 20-something years ago in Taiwan, the USA, we're not going to tell you our age, uh, <laughs> is very interesting, you know, because it's very different from nowadays. So... Yeah, so I'm very excited to dive on into those topics. I was, I, I thought you were going to say what happened to us, like who grew up like this. Oh, lots of problems. <laughs> Some of these childhood memories that you're going to hear will make a lot of sense of why oh. we are the way we are. You're like, <laughs> oh, yeah. But before we dive on in, let me just say thank you for all of you for waiting. Mm -hmm. this Thank you so much. last three weeks yeah. or more uh, yeah. since we posted our last one. We have been preparing for our trip to Taiwan. Yeah. And we're very excited about it. But it made us a little bit too busy to be able to keep on making episodes for a short period of time. But don't worry, we're back. We're back. And we're ready to rumble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And before we dive on in, we also wanted to say say thank you for the audience that's very generous donation for our trip to taiwan oh uh, that's right yes we've had three lovely donations so far mm -hmm. from the people who are listening out there so if you're listening to this episode we have recognized you and we want to thank you again for your generous donation yes and if you are interested in helping us you can find either our buy me a coffee website slash taiwanica or you can go to GoFundMe.com. Both of the links are in the description below. Mm -hmm. Any any amount is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, thank you very much. Yeah, let's go ahead and dive on into today's episode. Anita, what do you got for us? All right. So, I think we should share because you know, like Taiwan and the USA right now, definitely very different from what we grew up. Mm. Right, that environment and everything, all the things that's popular, that's very different from now and then. So, the first part I would like to for I would like to have us to share the memories. Like, what is your memories about USA? Memories of USA. Yeah, like when you were a kid, what what kind of things that you remember, you know, what kind of, you know, what does the USA look like hmm. when you were a kid? Sure. So I grew up pretty close to where we live right now in a small town called Eugene. And when I was a kid, I lived pretty much in the countryside of that town. Hmm. And there was very little development over there. A couple of grocery stores, a plaza, and a lot of small houses. 
But while I was young, all I really remember is walking around these, you know, 40 plus year old houses and seeing a bunch of little kids playing around outside, maybe old people walking, you know, a lot, a lot of people outside. I remember mm-hmm. a lot of people just kind of just spending time outside, mm-hmm. enjoying the weather for pretty much any season except for winter. And then mm-hmm. winter, there was lots of snow. Hmm. But in terms of activities, there wasn't anything really specific that comes to mind except for going to parks. A lot of hmm. nature stuff, hmm. you know, and that, that was one of the biggest things that really, you know, connected to me being in the countryside. We One of the things that I did in my free time was going walking around, checking out other areas. And one of the things that I enjoyed was just looking at buildings. And when I walked down the area I lived, there was oh, a bunch of streets that you can turn down and basically there's these cul-de-sacs and if you don't know what a cul-de-sac is it's just a round street that has no exit so if you go in you have to go out the same way that you came Mm -hmm. Uh, and you would just see this roundabout of really beautiful houses and then you can leave and go to the next one so that's what i would just basically do in all my free time because my mom was very busy and she'd be like eric go go do something so and then she would keep on working on her computer but she didn't realize I left the, I left the house. No! I was like, okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I was gone for hours. And then she would think uh, I was just like sitting on the couch when I got home because she would be done with work. She's so like, oh, oh, okay, there you are. <laughs> yeah. You're still alive. Yeah, I'm one fine. Piece. One That's piece, fine. no problem. I was doing that since I was like five. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was very dangerous. If it was this day and age, it would not be a good idea. But just so you know, like that area was countryside. But it's very different from Taiwanese countryside where there was rice everywhere. Instead, we had orchards so like apple trees peach trees any kind of fruit tree Mm. that you can imagine that would grow there that's pretty much the biggest impression that's great so basically the the only difference is it's safer back then back then right oh sure yeah you don't see a bunch of kids and down those streets actually nina and i drove drove through there i think what two Two? three weeks Mm -hmm. ago and we didn't see a single person outside (laughs) maybe also because it's really hot that day yeah that's true (laughs) but still there was not a soul on that whole entire street way different yeah it was i was it was shocking yeah not a single person i was just like ghost town oh my god seriously but it hadn't changed at all. No, no really? No, not that's a bit. Cool. The only thing that really changed was like a few trees were gone or I think that's really it. You know, really? Just like a few trees were gone. That was wow. basically it. Mm-hmm. All the buildings were pretty much the same. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. yeah, I remember he was pointed out, like Ariel was pointed out. He drove in that neighborhood. Like he was pointing out that person's name, you know, telling me the story about that person. <laughs> like 30, 20 years ago, that person was blah, 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 blah. It's still there, you know. Yeah. He was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the little houses, you know, they all have their special characteristics and quirks mm. that apparently just never changed. Hmm. I think that's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah. For me, that's different. Oh, thank you for asking. For me. <laughs> You're welcome. I... <laughs> I asked you through my mind. Oh, I see. Yes. You picked it up. You're very intuitive. For me, it's totally a different story. And, oh, yeah. For me, it's totally a different story because I was actually born in New Taipei City. And my family and I, we moved to Taichung when I was three. So I basically have no memory was to Taipei, but all my old childhood and was oh in Taichung. And, okay, let's just be honest. It was like 20, 30, 30 years ago. 30, almost 30 uh, years ago. Wow. Everything. You know, my, my, my hometown, my, my parents' house, the house I grew up to, is uh, very close to the new Costco. If you're in Taichung, you must know, like, the new Costco is there. It's really, really close there. Don't tell them your address, okay? Otherwise, we're going to have lots of fans just be like, <laughs> Anita. I wasn't there. Uh, I guess so. I'm okay. not there. Your parents. Oh, you don't want to meet any of the parents. So. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Warning, if you <laughs> listen to this information and try to take action, you will meet Anita's mother. <laughs> and Anita's mother is scary. She doesn't look like me, right? I don't look like him. No. Her. You don't look like either of your parents. <laughs> I don't know. Some people think you're adopted. But then again, one of your sisters looks exactly like you. That's They're twins. True. They're twins. That's not true. I'm so angry for straight in now. Because <laughs> kids saying that just no we need to have a photo and then vote on, on instagram will. yes i will do that yeah anyways so you know in that era right now we have like a jayun and mrt you know costco everything it's very know. developed when i was a kid it's all just 
rice field. Everything Imagine just it. rice rice field. I think our building was probably the very first one or two like consider like modern buildings there. Yeah. So yeah, when it was like twenty thirty years ago, my parents bought the house and then we moved in there. We just there and there was I remember the, the elementary school and the junior high schools there too. Yeah. So basically, just the art building and the two schools nearby, and everything else was just rice field. And I, when I was a kid, I would just go outside and saying hello to the farmers. You know, that's what you would see. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's how I remember. Like this changed so much. We have a lot of like Seven Eleven, Family Mart, convenience store. But when we were a kid, they are just like local convenience store, like grandpa. And grandma's house like no. mom and pop houses mom and pop houses <laughs> oh, they're the same thing <laughs> yes so like yeah just really really simple and like it's really hard to imagine like right now i'm picking up some pieces from my brain just oh my god it's changed a lot but basically you know not very popular when i was a kid just all simple like neighbors having a local store have few food stand that you can go you know try some taiwanese food that's basically it We'll be right back. I really like journaling, but I always end up in no time or cannot find a journal that I really like. So I was like, "Hey, let me create one." So here it is: a self-help journal created and designed by Anita. Inside the book, I provide very simple, easy to follow template. For example, in the morning, to do list; in the evening, gratitude practice. So you can use a very little time to start this healthy habit. Go ahead and check it out in our description down below, or go to our buymeacoffee dot com. It's amazing how your neighborhood can change so much after a long period of time. I know. Yeah, it's crazy. I've yeah. heard this story like many times with other people. Like the only place like mine is like it hasn't changed at all, and mm. I think it's just mainly because of where it's located inside of Oregon. It's just one of those places that there's no real need to develop. You know, it's like the people who live there are the people who stay. Like that's basically it.、Mm. One of the things I did notice wasn't near my house, but it was near my school.、Mm. I was so surprised to find that my school. Well, to give you clarity first, my elementary school and high school were literally a block away from each other. That's how small my town is. Okay, they are literally technically on the same block if you really think about it.、And、I think they are. They are. Yeah. Right, and it's a real big block. But anyways, my high school apparently decided we're gonna make our high school bigger. And so that's all just Eric, though. This is Eric's imagination.、Yeah. Disclaimer, okay. So we're gonna knock down the elementary school, <laughs> and so I was just like, <laughs> "What the?" I was so shocked. Like we were driving down, I was like, "I'm gonna show Anita my elementary school, one of my most fond memories of life." And I was like, "I planted a tree there," and I was just so excited to share because you know how much I love trees, and. We got there, and I was like, "What? <laughs> It's gone." I mean, the emotion is understandable because you know this kid. No, sorry, not you. I mean, I'm a kid. Eric, when he was a kid, he was he went to this very special school.、Hmm. You know, if you listen to our episode before, you will know he was studying Japanese school, and the school gave him a lot of like influence. It's who he is right now, and then he was you know imagine like Eric was in the elementary school and being you know like playing a little tree, yeah. And then the tree was gone, and he was like so shocked and so emotional, damaged. I was. I was. Anything. I love how we're <laughs> laughing at my my trauma. This is a real good way of healing. I'm sorry. On public video, we actually haven't <laughs> talked about this, and now she's just totally shaming me. I am not. That was just that. The emotion is under understandable because he wanted to show me. Either way, you actually show me once before when、oh. the elementary school was there. So, so I, you I, saw the tree. I did. Okay, yes. So <laughs> it was like the second time, like about two, three weeks ago. I、so, said, "Let's go see," and then he just silent. <laughs> he saw the. the <laughs> The There's a whole new building there. <laughs> like it's just this huge gray building that's going to become the new high school, and it just completely like swallowed the, the old school <laughs> in the back of the school and yeah, all yeah, the yeah. trees there. I was just so shocked. I was like, "Why do you need to do that?" The old high school is literally still right there. Yeah, it's like yeah, right there. That, <laughs> so、true. we're gonna have two schools. <laughs> I'm 
don't get it. Like, if the kids don't go to elementary school, how are they going to, you know, high, high school? school? Yeah, like how right. is they're like five year old. You you can go to high school. You can go to high school. We don't have elementary we're, school. For we're、you. done with that. <laughs> elementary school to lose here. Anyways, all right. Yeah, that's the only change in your town. And but for me, it's like huge changes, a lot of changes. Like、oh yeah. The, the park, the coffee shop, McDonald's. We don't have Mc. We didn't have McDonald's back then. We didn't have a lot of things. So and the funny thing is, I don't. I didn't even remember. Like since when it started to develop? You know, it just feels like this overnight change. Like right. You know, it's rice field, and then you go to sleep and woke up. And it's like oh, everything has changed. You got a twenty-story by whole gongsu. You got like a <laughs> department. Store right there. I think Taiwan is very incredible because we develop really fast. Faster than every anything I've seen. That's true. And、yeah. then just like when I was a kid, like the memory is not very clear, but I just remember that we just rice field, and then all of a sudden, I think they built the traditional market there first. You remember that one just right in front of my parents' house? Yeah. Yeah, I think they started building that one first. Oh, I see. And then everything just kind of started like expanding from there. Yeah. Well, I mean,、yeah. I, I've heard similar stories in places like Xinzhou and Miaoli、yeah. and all these other places where they used to just be rice fields that were owned by a family for generations. And then after <laughs> that, they were like, like were, people were like, "We want night markets. We don't want rice fields." And so people <laughs> were like, "Okay, well then we'll sell or rent our land to、mm. you." And then lo and behold. There's、mm. markets everywhere instead yeah, yeah, of yeah. rice fields.、Mm-hmm. Feels like Taiwan got bored of rice and wanted more <laughs> markets, and that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think there's also a very like important moment of my childhood that was when it hit two thousand. Ah, remember Y two K. Yeah, Y two K, and then、mm. um, all of a sudden it seems like everybody started to do things after two thousand hits,、mm. like cell phone, computer. I think. Yeah, computer, cell phone, like video game, started to become like really advanced after 2000 hits. Yeah, I mean, 2000 is definitely one. I mean, think that's when you turned eight years old, right? So, I mean, that's what they say when when you stop being a kid、mm-hmm. and start、like、becoming,、right? yeah, like seven or eight,、mm-hmm. and then you know, after that you become like realizing what the world really is like.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got it right on 2000. Boom. Yeah. Hey. That was pretty cool, though. Yeah, I mean the same thing happened to me.、Mm-hmm. So I loved it. I was just like, "What is what does two thousand even mean?" Yeah, because before it was just like ninety ninety something. Like, that's a lot of nines. Like, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, like two thousand people was like, <gasps> <laughs> "That's exactly what they were like." Yeah. They were all like freaking out because the internet was going to like explode. They、yeah. were, they were, yes. They were like, "How are we going to make every single thing on the internet become zeros?" Yeah, and they were like, yes, they were like talking about you know like there will be like virus or you know all the they predict a lot of crazy things that will happen when two thousand hits. Yep, like the end of the world and stuff、yeah. like that. It's just really funny how that works. It's、yes. funny. Yeah, there yeah. was a, the memories right when we were a kid. So another、yeah. question do you got today? Okay, so the next part would be I list out five different categories. Okay. You know, all the kids will definitely have. Doesn't matter what which year you were born. When you were a kid, you will definitely have those five things. But、oh. of course, different generation will have many different options. Sure. So <laughs> this is going to be definitely focused on people who grew up during the two thousands. <laughs> So if you're one of those people, you're gonna understand. If you're not one of those people, it's okay. It's okay. You can think, "Wow, you people are old."、Uh-huh. Or <laughs> if you are older than us, and you're like, "Oh yeah, my grandchildren did that, or my children did that." We are those people. Okay. Just listen to us like a history lesson or whatever. Yes. Here we go. Back in time. Okay. Whoop. What is the drink that you would drink when you were a kid? The drink. Like so, I mean, I I drink water. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I did. You did. I don't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like when we were kids, like you know, when we were kids, like definitely something that you would drink, like your mother would give you, or the, memory. Like the thing that I loved. Yeah, when we were kids.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so there were a lot of experiments happening when I was a kid. I don't know what happened with like the control over food or drink. <laughs> I think they just said, you know, have fun <laughs> for like five or six years because some crazy stuff came out when I was a kid. One of those things was blue Pepsi. Ooh, it sounds very not, supposed to be put into your belly. You know, people are not supposed to drink food color. 
<laughs> Especially blue. Like I heard, like blue is the it's worst. Like the worst for you. I know. I don't know why it was like Food Drug Administration was like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. You're Pepsi. It's totally cool. And so they made blue Pepsi. And I'm gonna tell you, okay, I did like it because it made my mouth turn blue. <laughs> And all my internal organs. I couldn't see that. Smurf. Yes, I smurfed it up. But that's not the point. The point was that the flavor of it was amazing. And there was never, ever another soda like it. AKA just the blue coloring. Maybe. (laughs) Maybe. But you know what? It was amazing. I drank it a lot. uh, Question. What was the, what's the regular Pepsi color? Just brown or black. Oh. Yeah, because I don't drink soda. I don't. Oh, okay. Okay. And there are some other crazy things like Coca Cola had Mm. vanilla flavor. Oh, Um, I've heard about that. And you know, other things what that they had were like Mountain Dew. What's Mountain Dew? Oh, I think I might have heard of it. Yeah, it's really popular in the USA. Oh my Um, god, it's still popular right now. Yeah, but they have not. They have different flavors that they still have for specific places, but it's not as like you know, crazy with different chemicals and flavors these days as it was back less, then. Less, less chemical. <laughs> yes, less chemical. Exactly. So what about for you? Oh my God. For me, it's definitely like when we're a kid, you know, if you are like well behaved, of course, we, we don't have sugar or anything that including our diets. It's just never a thing. But when you were a kid, if you were like well behaved or you finish your homework, or you help your mom wash the dishes or, you know, you help up a little bit with your brothers and sisters. Your mom will give you something to say as like thank you. Oh, you're such a good kid. It's definitely Yang Le Du. Oh, do you yeah, know Yang yeah, Le Du? Yeah, cold. Yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah, that's the little drinks that you can have like this itty bitty tiny straw. Straw, to, to yes. stab into. Yes, that's yeah. the thing. In Japan, it's super popular too. And you know what's the fun thing is that we would drink it. Usually, we would drink it just one bottle, but sometimes they came with like twelve. Yeah. You know, twelve is a set. And yep. then we would just put all the straw in all of them and just drink it at once. So there's that's really funny <laughs> that you bring that up because I have a memory of one time in Taiwan where I was waiting for some noodles to get ready with you. And there was this guy who was making all the noodles and the food in the back. And he's like, he's the chef. But he was, while he was cooking in one hand, he had a row of Yakult in his <laughs> other hand. And whenever he finished one, he would pull the straw out with his mouth and stab the next one <laughs> with so his cool. mouth at the same time and you then really keep drinking that? while he's doing it. Yeah. I'm serious. Yeah, I, I saw that. that. It, I, I, I thought you saw, it. but oh, it was just amazing. I was like, that guy <laughs> like knows. Yeah, he knows his yakult. <laughs> I was like, he really is passionate about it too. He's just like... <laughs> I'm just doing it over and over again. I was like, that guy has definitely done this before. <laughs> this is not his first time with Yakult. <laughs> yeah, that was really great. That's the, definitely the thing. And I remember when I was a kid, one like bottle, like tiny little bottle was only $5. Wow. Yeah. Five Taiwanese dollars. Taiwanese dollars. That's, yeah. that's amazing. It's yeah. definitely not that way anymore, right? No, I don't. I think right now it's like 12. Yeah. It's about 12, 15. That's not bad. Yeah, and another thing I would like to share is it's my personal memory. It just when we were a kid, for some reason, they just say, "Oh, the kids supposed to drink milk because the calcium will make you grow taller." Mm. You know, so like parents are basically just you know tell the kids to do the milk shot every day, <laughs> every now and then, not just every day. No. So my father was there was a little memory between me and my father is every time when the time like the clock hits 9 p.m. Okay. He actually told me how to read the clock, you know, 9 p.m. And I can go tell him and he will take me to like the local store to get a milk. But those milk, I don't know how to call it. It's like ru. It's not just a cow milk. You know, they have like different flavors in it. Yeah. Just flavored um, milk. Flavored milk. Yes. So my favorite is buckwheat. I oh. think it's called maya. Yeah, yeah, that's Maya. buckwheat. Yeah, mm-hmm. Maya, Nyona. Oh, buckwheat and they have milk. Like, yeah, buckwheat milk. It's so sweet. It's, it's, but amazing. Yeah, it's so good. So every time I'll go there and I'll just grab one. So Tiaoyu, like the flavored milk, is definitely one of the drinks that a lot of parents will give them a kit, give their kids. And they still exist. They still exist. Yes, that's true. That's great. I mean, I want. I never tried them because when I was in Taiwan and I was learning Chinese, I learned Tiaoyu and I was like, what the hell is that? Because in <laughs> USA, we do not have that. <laughs> yeah, 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 if yeah, we have anything like that, it has to do with yogurt. It has nothing to do with milk. Uh, but uh, when I saw it, I was like, I'm not going to try that. 
It just looks so weird. It's artificial. Definitely. Uh, well, without a doubt. Yeah. It's like 100% artificial. But, you know, when I was a kid, I would be like, oh, hell yeah, give me some of that. Yeah, Blue Pepsi, Taweru. Oh, yeah, let's mix, mix them. Cocktail. Cocktails. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so fun. I really, I think you really liked Taiwan when you were a kid. I'm sure. I, I, I like Taiwan now, but yeah. being in Taiwan as a kid, yeah, I with all those really, candies yeah. and the snacks, oh my gosh, um, I would not be a skinny kid in Taiwan. I mean, if you compare it to America, our you know like candy or anything sweet is very limited. You know, when we're a kid, yeah, sweet, sure. We don't, we don't encourage sweet at all. It's just not our culture. But we have a lot of carbs, and like True. we eat a lot of bread. Like oh. me and Bob, we go to like bakery. You know, we have different types of baked bread that you can choose. Sure, you know? that's the things when we're a kid. That's that makes sense. Like, yeah. yeah, no, I think it's the same for the uh, United States. At the beginning, we used to have lots of bakeries, but then we opened up mm. to artificial company, company. mass production. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. You got it. Hostess, Twinkies, Ding Dongs. I know them all. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, that goodness. takes me back. You know, those are right? those are it's crazy. Fun, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Good stuff. You guys, you guys are really eating this. Like when you were a kid, it sounds so crazy. But I know. Yeah, that's them. All right, let's drink. The next one is food, like a little snack. You know, what's the memories? Like when you were a kid, you eat that thing. All the time as a snack. Oh man. Well, there's a lot of things I ate that I probably shouldn't have. But if it's a snack, like should I like include candy or is it something that I just eat at home? Could be anything. Basically. Anything. Yeah, could be candy. Could be your mom make you something. No. Okay. Well, I think this one is probably the best. It's candy. So when I was a kid and I would walk around. Those areas by myself when my mom was working at five years old and six years old. Across the street from the very long path I would take, there was a convenience store. Just mm-hmm. so happened to be Seven Eleven, which we didn't have a lot of those back then, but mm-hmm. we had one right across the street from where I lived. And I was like, oh, cool. So I went inside, and then mm-hmm. it was like a dreamland. Oh, <laughs> snacks and slurpees, <laughs> all the sugar you could ever want, and I was like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and so <laughs> oh my god, one of the things that was in there that you can't really find at all anymore, what and I, I my it? mouth just waters when what I think about is it. it. I'm so curious now. Back in the day, there were the there was this packet, like this three like packet square packets, and then in inside of each packet would be a flavored powder. Oh. Flavored powder. Yeah. And then in one of the packets, there would be these sugar sticks. Okay, and so what you do is is that you would open up all of it. Okay, you open up all of it. So each packet is open. You get your sugar sticks. You make one of the sugar sticks wet, and then you dip how, it. How, how do you make it wet? You just lick it. Oh, you lick it, see. and then you just dip it into the powder, and you keep licking the powder off of the stick. So you have this sugar stick that you're eating while you're dipping more sugar into your mouth <laughs> with these different what flavors. What is the point of it? Oh, different flavor. Oh, exactly. I so you have like usually two or three different flavors that you can dip and lick, dip and lick, dip and lick, and then you can eat the whole entire sugar stick at the end. It was oh. amazing and probably at least 10,000 calories. <laughs> And so they don't have those anymore. Oh, yes. Do you remember the name? How you used to call I it? Oh, it's unfortunately, yeah. it's just one of those things that you know disappeared when I was about ten or twelve years old. They just didn't make them anymore because I, I think you they should probably they should one of the reasons why I had a lot of cavities when I was a kid. But you know, it was so good. I'll never forget that place. I think we have something really similar. It's like a lollipop, but I don't. I really didn't have a lot of sugar when I was a kid, but I've seen my classmate did that when I was in elementary school. Basically, it's also like a, this, like a tin bag. Okay. And you open it, uh-huh. and you have like this little flat lollipop. Oh. And then you put you put lollipop. You, you take the lollipop first, and then inside mm. the bag they has like powder powdery mm. thing, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. put it into your mouth, and then they will start like jumping like. Oh, like, bop, like, bop. We used to call those pop rocks. Pop. Mm-hmm. We I still think, have those in the USA. I think it's called tiao tiao tang in Chinese. Ba- bouncy bouncy sugar. Yeah, bouncy bouncy sugar. It's definitely that. It's just like they pour it into their mouth, and because of the the liquid, like your saliva, will make it like 
do something, and then we just like bouncy, and then you eat it with the the lollipop. That's really cool. Yeah. That reminds me of another candy that we had in the USA. How many candies? This is the last one. I promise. Last one. (laughs) Uh, it's called ring pop. Ring pop. Yeah. So you you when you open the bag, there would be a little like ring, yeah. and then, but the the end of the ring, you know, like back in the day in like cartoons, if someone wanted to show their diamond ring, it would be this humongous diamond <laughs> off of your hand, right? I like that. You know, it's this humongous diamond, <laughs> huge diamond, huge. You know, it's like gonna poke you in the eye. It's so big. So ring pop does the same thing, except it's just pure sugar. So you have this really big candy diamond looking thing that you put on your finger. And you eat it. And you eat it. We had it. We had that too. Ring pop. We have that. It's like a buckwheat. Oh, oh my god. Making like buckwheat sugar. Oh, interesting. Sugary thing. Yeah, you just basically. Ours is definitely artificial. Good times. Of course, of course. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That is great. Yeah. What about you? In Taiwan, I have two things I wanted to share. I think one is international, probably had it in, in, in America. The other one is, well, I think it's only in Taiwan. All it's right, called Guai Guai. Oh, I love Guai Guai. Guai Guai is so good, right? It's I don't so know what good. it is it about it. We're just so good. We, we still have that. Air, it's like this airy, it's puffy, it's sweet. It's sweet and it has coconut. It has coconut and flavor. And, and you butter. eat it, you can, you just smile like the Guai Guai guy. <laughs> the guai guai guy, yeah, the guai guai thing. When we were a kid, inside guai guai, they have little wanju, like a little toy, little toy, and mm-hmm. then it's like something small, you know. You open it, and then we got very excited. Basically, you open guai guai, and they will have like a tiny little plastic bag, oh. and then you can, you know, we were just so excited, we just keep on shaking the bag and try to find that toy. <laughs> You're very excited about it, aren't you? That's my childhood memory. <laughs> <laughs> So we just keep on shaking the whole bag, just try to get the the toy out first. Oh, I see. You know, we you just don't can't... care about the guai guai. You just want the guai guai toy. It, it, it's it's kind of like you know when you're done playing with your toy. Okay, okay, I still have guai guai. Can you, you know, it's kind of like that. When but if, a if you, you you seem upset, <laughs> like if it's a if it's a toy that you got before, yeah, you'd be upset. Right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. If it was new, mm-hmm. then you got so a new excited. toy and, and guai guai. Yay! Yeah, but if it's an it's just. An old toy, you'd be like, oh, my, okay, I, I got guai guai. I still got guai guai to eat, yeah. So you, right. no matter what, it's a win win. You're happy situation. with guai guai. That's true. Oh, yes, right. yes. And that's definitely like the, oh my god, when we were a kid, it just like, just can't help it because we didn't have a lot of time. Sorry, not a lot of time, like a lot of chance, a lot of, lot of chances to eat sugar or any like fun things. So every time we got a chance to do that, we just got so excited. Basically, all the kids were like trying to, you know, get the toy out of that bag. Just, I want to see first. I want to be the first one to say, yeah. Wow, it's, like, it's a competition. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> you know, I came from a, a family that has four kids. So it's very intense. I can like, imagine. Uh, very Especially intense. with your brother. It's like pure competition of food. <laughs> <laughs> Survival of the om yum yum yum. Yeah. Yeah. We and, love you, DD. And another one is definitely international, but I, I don't think they make that. They still exist, but it just changed a different form. When we were a kid, it's called 见大出奇蛋. Ah, uh, yes, like the chocolate eggs. Yes, so basically, when we were a kid, the, right now the newer version is that you only get half the egg. Uh, you Have you seen that? You can I just haven't. See have an egg so you open the package you eat uh, like a chocolate waffle mm. you eat like things that inside but when you're a kid it's literally use chocolate mm. to make an egg shape yeah 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 right that's what we used to have in usa too yeah so when you open the package they mm. have like an egg so you open the egg that has a plastic egg inside and what's inside the plastic bag egg <sighs> toys again uh, yes we used to have those and then children would think Oh, there's no plastic egg inside the egg, so they would just eat the whole egg whole and then die, and <sighs> suffocate on it, and that's oh why the, those those eggs are that illegal so, in the USA. That is so hard to believe because it, the thing is really like a real egg size. How can you just swallow the whole thing? Some kids think it's probably fun to have the egg melt in your throat. Oh, I see. You know, I don't know. Anything, I don't know. Anything could happen. You know, anything could happen. Yeah, but when we were a kid, that's really fun because those little toys that have like a DIY, you can, you know, put it together like little Legos. Oh, they put cool. it into like a, and you can 
collect them. And sometimes they 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 will have like seasonal、oh. toys, and you can get all the collections. Wow. You know? So that was really fun. But I remember when I was a kid, this kind of snack is kind of pricey. It's about like forty five,、yeah. fifty for us. In the like, USA too, yeah, it's just so expensive. It's because not it's like, like a, from Sweden or something like that. I think it's, it's from like, Australia. From Australia or, or something some like other、that. country. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's from a special place. So because it's from a special place, it's special <laughs> dollar. Yeah, yeah, and also because of the toy, right? Yes,、so. I think so. Yeah, no, it's very interesting. I never had one of those. I had. I, I probably only had it for like two or three times. Yeah. But、yeah, it's fun. You know, some like rich relatives who sometimes can visit will give us this one or two、wow. eggs, and it's just oh my god! Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you are like the、You're、giver、so right. of the golden egg. <laughs> That's exactly how I felt when I was a kid. Sure. Yeah. So those two are definitely like mem. In Chinese, I, we have this term called.、Hmm? <laughs> I had to think about it. Hui yi sha, like yi sha. oh my god, just like the memory brought you back to the that moment. Just、know? super nostalgic. Yeah, and super nostalgic.、Uh, Those two things definitely, yeah. Heck yeah. No,、oh, heck yeah. yeah all right. <laughs> Egg yeah. <laughs> Next one, every kid must have, which is toy. Oh. What kind of toy do you use? <laughs> I just stop right there. Uh, <laughs> What kind of toy? I had to think about it. <laughs> Wait, did I have、I、toys? <laughs> Toys. Okay. okay, so you know, I grew up in a generation where traditional toys was starting to become cliche, and technology was starting to become a huge thing. Really? In, in America, yeah, in America, yeah, totally. Like everyone was trying to basically start what we're doing now, which is having mobile games. You know, portable games, games、mm-hmm. that you can do anywhere,、mm-hmm. and so some of the things that were the must-have for were definitely going to be something like cards. So,、mm-hmm. like Pokemon、mm-hmm. was a huge thing when I was just a kid. Pokemon, even in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Po- Are they speak Chinese? Sorry, <laughs> how messed up is that? <laughs> That would be really interesting if they spoke Chinese. A, Jap- a country Japanese cartoon in、yes. America、yes. speaks Chinese. Exactly. No. Okay. No, they spoke English. Okay.、Oh, of course. Okay. Okay. And they spoke English, and you know they all had their own names too. Like all Pokemon have American names、oh、that、God. are different from Japan and are different from Taiwan. You know, it's all their own、oh, yeah, names, except for Pikachu. Pikachu, Pikachu is like is Pikachu. global, yeah, right? But every other one has a different name, like Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle. You know, all of the originals. And you say you don't know the name about this Pokemon. This is part of my childhood. <laughs> And we're really close to the microphone. <laughs> okay, I apologize for her actions. Okay, because this person he was so crazy about Pokemon. He has his collection. Had. Okay, so he had his collection. He says, you know, it worth like a lot of money, but he got stolen. So in this, he has another emotional damage back then. I love how she laughs. <laughs> At all of my trauma, you know, it's, so it's just like、different. she gets such satisfaction. Like I could tell you a story about me breaking my toe, <laughs> and that's the response that you get: pure joy, pure bliss of my suffering. It's amazing how loving my wife is. Everybody, it's just the Pokemon card, dude. Okay, dude, childhood memory. Okay, I I could totally take that back at you about what you're gonna say in a second. What is it? Oh, you'll know in a second. Which one? Okay, so so this one here is just really special okay, because sorry, sorry, sorry. I worked really hard to collect all those,、sorry. and I played with those with my friends. And everyone was like, "Eric, you got the best cards." I was like, "I know, right? I'm like so good." And then they got stolen. I was just like, See, I'm sorry. See, she shut. I'm sorry. No filter with you. No, no compassion. I'm going to talk to my therapist about this. Wow. Anyways, so what about you? What are you done sharing? I'm ready. You're、I'm ready、sharing. for yours. I'm done sharing. Yeah. I'm gonna say something different just so you cannot do anything about it. All right. So when I was a kid, you know, the claw machine. Yeah. Is really popular right now. Yeah. What is that called? I forget. It's called claw machine. I think. Oh, jawawaji. Jawawaji. In in,、mm-hmm. in Chinese.、Yeah. Yes. 
But the history of this jiabaoji is actually when I was a kid. I think about around my whole childhood until like seven or eight or ten. I think it's up to ten. It was just very popular.、Hmm. But all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. I think they used to be outside of the Seven Eleven, like、oh. convenience store. And I think you know, like young kids, they would just. Hang out there. They don't go home, and a lot of like problems are happening around those areas. So government says we cannot put any machine outside of convenience store anymore. Interesting. And before they would just claw, they would be claw machine and like a pachingo. I don't know what. Do you oh, know? we just call it pachingo in English. Pachingo, right?、Mm-hmm. Like the big machine. You put coins in it. You can play games. Yeah, with balls. Kind of, yes, those、mm-hmm. kind of videos. Jap- Japanese gambling machines. Yes,、so. Mm-hmm. so they used to be just outside of a convenience store. No, the machine,、oh. the machine, not the whole whole store. I see. Just the machine. You can play like Pac Man, those、oh. kind of things. Wow. So claw machine and those kind of machine, they used to like you know be together outside of a convenience store. But like I said, there would be like you know teenager hang out there doing you know things that the parents don't don't like. So、yeah. government say we have to remove all the machines. That makes so, sense. In Japan, they had the same thing. Right. Twenty, thirty years ago, everyone、mm-hmm. would just hang out in the convenience store、yeah. way too long,、yeah. and so they had to get it out of there. Yes. So、uh, they they just completely disappear. Yeah. Disappear the for like very very long time until like somebody bought it back. Like、oh. couple years ago, like、hmm. people started to rent a whole room in Taiwan. That's、You've、true. You've seen that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In night market, they will rent the whole space and put tons of different machine and different things. And people go、with. crazy over、yes. them. Yeah, because、yes. they're cheap and it's easy to grab. Well, sometimes easy to grab some、mm-hmm. of the toys inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they still cost the same amount of money. Like when I was when I was a kid, my dad was really good at that. Which、yeah. is the things I would like to share is the stuffed animal, like、mm. different kind of shape. We have Mickey, we have Disney characters, we have you know sometimes just dogs and things like that. Pikachu. Yeah, yeah. And my dad would usually go get the the stuffed animal and give it to me. So I, when I was a kid, I had this humongous bag, a really really big bag. Full of stuffed animals like, from different, you know, places. Like, but my father will really just go to different places and give me those kind of stuffed animals, like you know, dinosaur, cats, things like.、That. I think we get it, honey. Yes, as my childhood memory. And yeah, and they still cost the same amount of money. It's like ten coin coins that you Have can. Haven't tried. Yeah, so that is definitely my childhood memory toy, and. There's some other cool stuff. No but... way! Before you go to other cool stuff, let's talk about what happened to your <laughs> stuffed animals, shall we? Sure. So when I was a kid, I have so many of them. Like I said, big bag. I kept them very nice and perfectly sealed in the bag, so they won't get dusty. And I put it into a secret spot in my room. I kept them, and every time when I feel sad, or I would just open the whole bag and dump down all the stuffed animal. You know, just swim inside of my <laughs> stuffed animal, or you know, pure joy and bliss. Pure joy, yeah. Until one day I came back home and I saw. I think I was in elementary school around like fourth grade or third grade. One day I went back home and I saw one of the kid from my neighbor. It was like my neighbor's kid,、hmm. which is younger, probably like seven or eight. He was holding my stuffed animal, one、oh、of my、God. stuffed animal. Then I was like, "What is happening?" And so I went there to ask the kid. I said, "Where did you get this?" And the kid said, "Oh, there was a a lady who was just throwing away all the stuffed animals. But I really, I want, I want some." And then she said, "I can have whatever I want." So the kids had that, and I was like, "Oh my god, my heart really is like stop and very very cold、Aww. all of a sudden because it's my I kept in a very secret place, you know. It's really literally literally is my joy." And I went back home. My mom, she wasn't planning on telling me. She was just trying to pretend nothing happened. I said, I asked her like, "Did you did you toss away my my stuffed animal?" And my mom just said,、like, "You are too old for that." I was like, you didn't answer my question. <laughs> I was so mad. I said, you answered my question, and she was just like, yeah, too. Oh, I, 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 I donated. I was just told BS. He, he, she just put it to the dumpster. He didn't,、Aww. he didn't. She didn't donate or anything. Just only the kids save that.、Yeah. I, I really don't remember. It. Did my mom give the whole thing to that kid or just dump it? it either way, either、Yours、way, it's gone.、God. It was gone when I realized it, and then that was it. Oh, I know, right? This is how you. 
I'm just Comfort. waiting for it. Here we go. Here we go. Somebody. I know. I'm sorry. When something bad happens. I'm sorry about your <clears throat> Pokemon no, contest. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. We love each other. Yeah. I'm yes, sorry yes, that you okay. lost that. Your mom is a giant butt. My mom is a giant butt. <laughs> yes. So. Anyways, so that was definitely it. And another one is when we were kids, like in Taiwan, <clears throat> my generation, we have like this plastic. Toy? I don't even know how to see it. It's like a, a video game? No, it's not. It's a piece oh. of plastic, but okay. they would usually have like different shape on it. For oh. example, like, you know, sometimes they would have a Pikachu there, but it's all plastic. No. Oh. So everybody can collect different... Like figurines. Plastic figurines. How, how do you guys play that in America? Oh, I mean, you just collect them. Oh, in Taiwan, we, you can battle it. Oh, cool. And if you, if you won, you can get the, the plastic... Figurine. Figurine. So you can won a plastic figuring oh so for example if mine is like uh, pikachu and your is uh, bubblesaur bu- bubble then... gum <laughs> <laughs> bubble source yes that's fine anyways so so we would do like we just basically push the plastic hmm. figuring until one on top of the other hmm. if you're on top of the other you are the winner Ooh. so you can take the other one. the other person's <gasps> figuring interesting yes we were so crazy about those it had like skills you have to use your nail you know uh, the, oh uh, tons of kids will just have Little evil technique <laughs> pointing uh, pointing fingers nail like super long just because they can play that oh. and the kids were just playing that crazily and they will put like a white owl on the back so we, the, 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 the figurine will like you know higher a little bit higher or like oh. they would do like angle things just wow, so, so they much can... cheating I love <laughs> I it know. I love this game I want to play <laughs> I know we just have so be, all of a sudden we become like so creative about I've this never of heard of this game before in any country I've lived in it's never heard of this they're completely great. gone now yes but what, we, what are we, they called in Chinese I really don't know and I google it I think it's called ping ping okay. or, or called dou pian dou is like a battle mm. like zhan dou 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 pian pian oh. is like you know if you know the answer to this definitely let us know on the Instagram yes. we would love to see some examples yes 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 I think the kids went too crazy about that, so all the schools and families are banned. So they were just oh. toss them. I, my mom did the same thing to the toy, you know, same yeah. thing to the toy. So just, you know, toss them away. And the school was like banned. Like kids cannot bring this to school anymore. Wow. So they kind of like just disappeared. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, that's really interesting. Thank you for sharing. I had no idea that was a game in yeah. Taiwan. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was really fun. Yeah. All right. Well, we're getting close to the end here. What else do you got? Cartoon! What is the cartoon that you watched when you were a little kid? Oh my god, that's an easy answer. Dragon Ball Z. Oh my god. You guys also have Dragon Ball Ball Z in the USA? Oh, come on. How could you not? America loves fighting, you know? So (laughs) if you have this guy who has superpowers (laughs) that grows more and more powerful as time goes on, of course America wants to watch that. That guy's free. That guy's empowered. That guy is pure, pure awesome. Goku! Okay. Yeah, when I was a kid, I was totally in awe, and I I still am. I love him. He's like one of my idols. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, of growing stronger each and every day. Yeah. Goku. Goku. Yeah, no, so Dragon Ball Z was totally the thing as a kid, and Mm -hmm. it still is for a lot of people here in the USA. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You'll see people with the shirts. Shirts. Yeah, people will have the logos on their cars. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes kids will have, like, a Dragon Ball, like, stuffed animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's surprising because sometimes we also have those when we're a kid, but Mm -hmm. there's, like, only exist when we're a kid. Now, Mm. It didn't, really it didn't that, last yeah. in yeah, Taiwan, right? No, not really. Yeah, in Japan too. Japan, it's not like a huge thing. Like some people like it, some people don't. But it's not mm-hmm. like yeah, Dragon Ball. Everybody, yeah. But in America, it's so huge. It's like it is, yeah. and it, it goes through like different generation. Even like I saw the kid the other day it was like seven years old. Yeah. He's still wearing the the, the Dragon Ball Z t shirt. I was like, yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, come on. That's just so good. And they made more episodes, so now. They are still making? Yeah. New episodes? Dragon Ball Super. Oh, my God. It's great. Okay. I've watched it. Oh, my God. And they're making a new one that's coming out in the next couple of months, and I'm totally going to watch it. What is it going to call? Dragon Ball Super, series number two. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoy your cartoon so much. So what about you? When we were a kid, <clears throat> we watched a lot of cartoon also from Japan. I mm, think this mm, like mm. a 
kingdom of making like childhood for um, anime anime yes come on i mean no one else can make it as good as them yeah but we also have disney though like we oh, disney when hmm. we were a kid like we have of course like mickey and good friends or something like oh that. sure yeah, mm-hmm. yeah yeah that is that and we need the poo sure sure uh, maybe looney tunes yes mm-hmm. yes that mm-hmm. one too so those are like really classic sure. cartoon that we watch and then you know they're about like Few people are watching Disney, and then until Pikachu yeah. enter Taiwan, yes, everything Pikachu now. The Pikachu take over. Pika Pika. They have took over everything. School bag, T-shirt, heads, Pokemon, pencil, invasion. eraser. I mean, what a crayon. brilliant idea, right? I, I, Combining. I mean, everything together in animals and superpowers. I mean, speak, come on. Go. Yeah, you mentioned about a point. I just. Knew that Pikachu is a rat. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yep, it's totally. <laughs> you know, like if you th- if you look at every animal there, they're it's really evil. strange. You know, like Bulbasaur is a dinosaur. What's a Bulbasaur? And then Squirtle is <laughs> a, 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 a squirrel <laughs> turtle. You know, combo. I mean, and, and then Charmander's a flaming salamander. You're like, what the hell are these animals? I mean, they're it great. is very creative. Very because, creative. And they will like evolve to a different kind of creature. And... They'll just grow bigger. That's all they do. Oh, yeah. I see. That's why it's called evolve. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Anyways. So okay, we can talk about cartoons all day. <laughs> you can. I, I cannot. <laughs> but I, I think it, we're getting really long in this in that episode. So let's. Which go is so ahead. much fun. Okay, that's one video last, game. Video game. Yeah. That's really hard. Why is I this the one. last one? Neil, you have one. Okay, go ahead. I don't know how to say that in English. It's called 电子机. Okay, 电子机. So is it the little egg thing? Yeah, little egg thing, and it has like two buttons on the left side and oh, on the right side, and it's like a little chicken. chain. Yes. yes. Yeah, well, little chicken, you have to like take care of it when he's sick, and if it poop, you have to sweep out his poop. Wow, I, if only you would do that in real life for our cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do yeah. you really think I'll care about that? I don't. You don't, and that's why I do it all. <laughs> Thumbs up for Eric <laughs> for taking care of the cats. Uh, so yeah, that no, that toy was really popular in the USA too. Yeah. It's on the keychain. You know, if you had one of those, you're like, oh, you're a cool you're a kid. You're cool kid. Yeah. Right. I didn't. I never could find one, so I was like, you're not a cool kid. I'm not a cool kid. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So I was like, why do you guys have those? And they're like, it does this, and you can clean up the poop, and you have to take care of it, and you have to make sure it doesn't die. I'm like, yes. Just get a cat, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and then the chicken would literally like grow up. Like yeah. from, from a certain period of time. From a little chicky to a big yeah. chicken. Bigger chicken. Oh. Bigger chicken. Bigger chicken. <laughs> That's wow. my memory. That's great. My childhood. That's um, great. That's great. For Those us, are great. The video games were pretty straightforward. Oh, you still wanted to share? Oh, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> But I think the biggest thing that was impacting when I was a kid was the Game Boy. You know. Was a Game Boy exactly? A Game Boy. It's a portable video game console. So basically, like PS4. Yeah, but in your hands. It was in your hand. No. But they have that's called a PSP. Okay. Oh. But the very、I、zero f- memory or knowledge about video games. Yeah. So just an FYI. The Game Boy was the first one. Okay, okay. the very first version of that. Okay. And it was huge,、okay. and it needed four batteries to play. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> It's just so huge, and you need four batteries that <laughs> die after one day of playing. Will they give you the warning before the battery is about no, to die? No. Oh my goodness. The the,、uh, the color will slowly fade away. Oh yeah, that's when yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, when you know, like, oh, we're running out of battery here. <laughs> But it was all black and white when we first had them. There was no color, you know. So it was、oh, really、I、interesting. Know. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It reminds me of like in Taiwan we have KFC. Like mean, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yes, but 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 you know like when we were a kid like KFC or McDonald's they will give you toys too.、Mm. And I remember very like. Vividly,、hmm. like KFC was one time they had like we called it Kentucky Yeye.、Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Because in Kentucky, in Kentucky, the the guy looks like grandpa. Yeah. So he will have like a like a Game Boy. Oh really? But it's like in the the Kentucky Yeye shape. Oh really? So in、really? his belly, like a tailor's shop, his belly that、oh. you can play the video game also black and white. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I never heard of that in Thai in USA. We'd never had that. 
Wow. Yeah, that's really interesting. Wow, it was fun. Yeah, it's really fun. Such wow. a fun episode. I did not expect so oh many of God. the things that you said today. <laughs> I never heard these stories, so I'm really glad that we had this episode. It was a lot of fun for me. Thank I you mean, so much like, for sharing. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much for sharing those artificial and chemicals. Like, You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> My pleasure. Yeah, child. Yeah. Trauma. Anyways. That she still laughs about. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. I don't need to go to a therapist. You do. You need to go see a psychologist about what makes you laugh at people's pain. Seriously. I mainly laugh about emotional damage this term. Exactly. But anyways. Okay. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed today's episode as much as Anita did. Definitely give it a thumbs up on YouTube and follow us on on Apple Podcasts and subscribe to our channel. We would love for you to spread the word to any of your friends who you think would enjoy this content. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if you ever want to hang out with us, you can find us on Amazing Talker. Or if you need any life coaching, you know who to ask. We are here for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For any sure. For sure. Last word. Anita. We'll see you soon in Taiwan. And if you want to share your childhood memories, you can always send us a message about them. That's true. We'd love to hear it. Stay tuned. And if you do, we'll mention them here. Yeah. All right. Take care. Bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to Taiwanica. If you're enjoying the show, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. That helps others find the show, and we greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for listening, and we'll catch you in the next episode.